Good morning. How are you doing? I'm Sarah Ivy Edwards, and I'm the franchise owner for uh, Network in Action Town Lake Professionals. And I'd like to introduce my guest today, Miranda Stewart with The Work Well. Hello. Thank you so much for having me, Sarah. Um, like she said, my name is Miranda Stewart. I am the general manager of The Work Well. We are a, um, we're Northwest Houston's premier co-working and private office operator. Um, we have a bunch of different memberships that we offer, but um, I'm excited to be a part of NIA and be a part of, you know, this little questionnaire. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you participating with me. Yes. So I wanted to ask you, how are you coping with um, these challenging times? You had sent this question to me, and the first thing that popped in my mind was wine, but I know that you're asking from a, you know, professional standpoint, so I personally wine, but um, speaking from a general manager of a co-working space point of view, I would say honing in on everything virtual, from virtual tours with prospects to keeping in contact with all of our current members. Um, having daily and weekly check-ins with my team um, and just creating that collaborative and engaging virtual network for our members to chat, ask questions, you know, hang out if they want to quit getaway. Uh, those are all great, great ways of coping. Okay. And I agree with wine. <laughs> Good. I'm, I, I am finding that my wine fridge is getting depleted. <laughs> And my supply is, you know, I'm going to have to start doing something about that. Oh, yeah. Um, so how do you see your business coming out of this on the other side when we are finally released? Yeah. No, I think, um, I think all industries are going to come out of this with some extent of unknown territory. Social distancing is going to be the new norm and for the next year or so. So for me, being able to look at co-working and see how is this new normal going to fit in design and function wise, um, that's going to be key to making sure that we're catering to the needs and well-being of our members. Um, our, our highest goal going forward will be accommodating new and existing members' needs in regards to a clean, professional, and safe work environment. I know your environment is already that, but you know, yes. it must be, Thank you. yeah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful workspace for, for that should meet the needs of many people who are entrepreneurs and just getting started to the people that all the way through a career and, and then even as a retirement office, I've, I've actually heard of people that can't, not go to an office so they will rent um rent that space from from your type of organization so yes i am hoping um that this whole work from home experience that a bunch of employers are allowing you know their employees to to do is going to make them realize that you know their employees can be productive um at home, I'm sure that they're going stir crazy, you know, working with their spouses and dogs and kids and, you know, all of the above, um, bugging them, but maybe satellite offices for a bunch of the downtown Houston um, companies, they'll allow that, you know, the, the satellite office here at the work well, so. So that's great. Yes, marketing to that group, that would yes. be ideal. Now's oh, yeah. the time for marketing. Oh, yeah. So, so what are some quick tips that you could offer entrepreneurs to, main, to help them maintain their businesses during this time? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think the three big tips I could give would be to think outside the box and listen to your customers' needs. How can you assist them during this social distancing time? Um, Number two would be look at the businesses that are surviving right now. What are they doing differently? Um, I know a bunch of restaurants or that weren't doing the catering services or weren't allowing um, members to, you know, order ahead and pick up food. They're doing all that because that's what they have to do to survive. So 
it's, it's depending on what industry you're in, look at, you know, what your competitors are doing, if they're surviving and what they're doing differently and, you know, tap into that. Um, and then just adjust your services to the current situation. For us, we've, we had virtual memberships, but creating that virtual community because we used to have social gatherings and now we're doing social distancing gatherings. It's, um, it's all virtual right now. So I think just, you know, adjusting those or any services you can, um, to fit the, the current situation would, would be smart. Those are great ideas. Wonderful tips. I can't thank you enough for participating on this interview. Of course. And and for being a member of Network in Action, I think that your, your um, collaboration with our members will really help, help them grow their businesses as well as help you grow yours. And I'm looking forward to a long-term relationship with you, Miranda. Thank you so much for having me, Sarah. My pleasure. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yes, ma'am. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.